Hi, everyone. Uh, this question just came in. Which app do you use to record uh, when operating off of an iPad? Yeah. If you have an iPad and you want to record, let's say, something that you have inside of Notability, uh, what you would do first is you need to make sure that inside of your settings, if you go down to where it says Control Center, and then click Customized Controls, you have to make sure that screen recording, uh, it's hard for this to do it, but screen recording, the third one down, uh, is actually on the Include, okay? When you've made sure that your screen recording is an option, what you can do is up at the top where you have the Wi-Fi bar and the, the battery life, you're gonna swipe down. And you can see mine is red and blinking right now, but normally uh, when you haven't start up, started up the screen recording, what you would do is you'd long press that. So you'd hold your finger on that button. And I suggest that you hold on it for just a moment because you wanna make sure that the microphone is turned on uh, the worst thing that I did was I made over an hour long homework video and I did not have the microphone turned on. So I have learned from my mistake and I've made sure that each time I long press on that button that you see that's flashing right there, that's the screen recording. I long press on that so that way I know that the microphone is turned on well before it's done. Now after it's finished, what you'll do is after you've done your, your lecture, you'll swipe down again, and then you're gonna press that red blinking light. Depending on how long the video is, it might be just a couple minutes long, and the process will convert that file over to a video, and it's gonna be put into your photos library. All right, so inside your photos library, it should be one of the, the first videos that you get put up in here. So uh, let's say this one right, uh, here, this one was done by Allison. Uh, it was the testing day information. So she had taken my iPad, went through the same process that I just told you right here. Now, once you have all of that taken care of, then we can send that up to YouTube so that way it can be shared out with the kid. So I believe if you have YouTube set up, and I do not on this one, uh, but what you can do is you can directly upload to uh, YouTube so I'm, I'm logged in as me and I should be able to uh, come on. I haven't done it this way for a long time so yeah so what we can do is you notice I just clicked the uh, little icon that's right underneath the uh, red blinking thing there all right so what I can do is I have the two videos if I grab this one right here okay that would Hi be the one that Allison had done. I USC. click next. And then I just walk through the process. I've got my title. I put in my description. I've got uh, the privacy settings set to public. And then I would click the upload. And then that's going to send it to my YouTube channel. All right. But before you do this, before you uh, try to send it up to your YouTube channel, you have to make sure that you set up that YouTube channel. You get the settings uh, all, all correct to make sure that you're able to upload something more than 15 minutes. So uh, if that uh, addresses the questions, great. If not, make sure you ask me for some uh, extra help on it and we'll get it all squared away. All right, thanks.